unless the knight and bishop can set up a fortress, this endgame is generally a relatively easy win for the queen. So we will be looking at the following position where the checkmate is the longest. The first step here is that white must force black's bishop to c4 then move the king back to a8 to escape the checks, after which with the help of the queen the white king will escape. The second step is to approach the pieces with your king. To overcome any barrier black may try to set up, queen checks to decoy the pieces to worse positions are very important. Because black's bishop can't attack dark squares, it's very effective to conduct your attacks on dark squares near black's king. Once the black pieces is now near a corner, the third step is to get your king next to black's pieces and threaten the close range queen check, which would win at least one piece. A very important thing to remember is to not allow black to set up a fortress with the knight and the bishop, and this can be achieved by preventing the enemy king from reaching the corner with your queen. Once your king gets close enough to be one square away from the enemy king, a simple queen check on the back rank followed by a close up check is enough to win four white who managed to capture Black's Knight right on the 50th move. Like and subscribe for more chess tutorials and I will see you all in my next video.